Now let's do it. Freaking Miami. Oh boy. We haven't won here this whole series. And Heat get the last game at home. It seems like we were do we've both been dominant at home. Oh boy. All right, we got to play awesome here, man. We haven't beat him here in Miami yet. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right, let's go. Let's play good here. No, no, no. No! Come on! Oh, no! Oh, he missed. Nice. Okay, good. And the Miami Heat. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point guard to center. Oh, come on, Steph. Come on, get the rebound. No. Oh, man. Come on, man. We're down by four already. In the NBA, I just like what he does because he can figure out ways to win each and every night. I think a lot of it just has to do with him feeling right at home with the ball on the block. If you double, he'll find the open man, and if you don't, he'll square up and go into his move. He just finds a way to be productive on offense. Look at the Heat. They have tried mightily throughout the long NBA season. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, goaltending. All right. The home court advantage could play a big part, guys, in this one. Well, Kevin, they battled to get here all season. Maybe it's taken all right, come on. And we go all the way to game seven. But here they are at home in front of a crowd that is just going insane. Four quarters from the title. And now it's about centering themselves, staying focused, and keeping themselves in the moment. Come on, stop him. Yes. Good. Oh, Steph. Yeah. All right, back to floor. Tie it up. Good. They're even more fired up than I anticipated they would be. Right now we're going to go to Doris Burke. I'm going to stop LeBron. Out of bounds. Nice. In an atmosphere as intense as Game 7 of the NBA Finals, it's almost hard to be nervous. There's just too much going on. He said we're ready to get to the task at hand. We know exactly what we need to do. Can they do it? That's the question, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Money again. Yeah. Here's LeBron. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. Out to the wing. Bosch against Lee. I'll let Chris Bosch score. Ah. Bosch has got his first points of the night. You can't give him that shot. A few open looks and all it takes. And he can really get rolling. Lee passes to Money. Hits the jump. Nice. Money's All right, good. Go. How about this? They're shooting 80% so far. I know it's early, uh, but offensively, they look great. The drive by James. A baseline J and the shot. Ugh. He's got so much junk in his trunk. He'll find a way to hurt you. The Warriors have gone four or five from the field so far. Sounded disgusting. Takes it out to dig it out, and that'll be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Here are this postseason's dead eye shooters. These guys have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. Andre Iguodala, number one. Now about three minutes. Nice, nice inbound pass. We need that type of play. Getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, they've been the aggressors, but getting the ball in 
inside into that lane area has been huge for them. Now, here is Battier. Pretty bad defense letting the offense get right to the rim, but a smart play to foul once he was there. But you know what's going to happen. Uh. They sent a message right there. Nothing easy inside. No free throws. Good from Battier. Yeah, that was solid. I'll tell you, he's one of the best there is up there at the foul line. Curry passes to Money. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played. Awesome. Keep, you keep moving, keep scoring. It's been embarrassing. That's ten consecutive points allowed in the lane. And that's not the kind of... Yes! Nice! And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And out of the heck? Oh my god, my guy lost the ball. Are you kidding me? So it's Miami now, trailing by two. They come into this one after losing on Sunday. And no matter what they try to do in that loss, Kevin, it just didn't work out. Oh, no, no, no! Like they kind of gave in to it. Like you said, they didn't show too much fight back when it got to double digits. And that's concerning. And here's Curry after LeBron James hitting the three. Here's money. He started by Haslam. Awesome. Okay, good. Again, is it there for money? Well, the number one priority for a defense uh, when you face this guy is to keep him getting anywhere from the basket because he's just so strong as a finisher. And I don't know of too many other players who are as solid as he is in the low post. Just watch how many times he'll get his man to go for his fate and leave his feet. He gets him up in the air and takes advantage of him. The second foul of the first quarter. They're probably going to have to sit him down here to try to avoid number three. Looking at who's out there now. Don't let LeBron get it. Uh... C.J. Miles comes in for Clay Thompson. And Medovich is subbed in for Curry. Here's Medovich following the basket by LeBron James. Here's Barnes. Nice. Nice push towards the rim. Good job. Can you keep this up? Very close ring. They're giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Now, here's Chalmers. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Fires at the elbow. No what? Awesome. Okay, good. Here's money. Kicks to Miles. This is it to Barnes. He dishes it to Miles. Down to five on the shot clock. Nice! They are moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. Here's Cole. In to Gringo. Oh, uh, no, no. Defenders rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D. Can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. And Nedovich kicks to Miles. And the shot goes. Nice. To okay. Up by four. Both teams on fire right from the opening tip. Pedal to the throttle, Steve. All right, getting the ball back, too. We need to keep this offensive momentum going. As we know, the Heat can catch up in their home court, so we need to just keep moving. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in this first half. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Then there's Chalmers. Then there's Chris Anderson. And it's Phillips in at the two-guard position. Here's Chalmers. and the Yes. Stuff. Okay, good. Go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, guys, Money in the last outing against the Heat got the job done. He dropped in 32 points, and the basket seemed pretty big to him. He didn't miss a whole lot all night. It was a performance for the ages, and one that will have the whole league talking. Thanks for the great report, Doris. Uh, guys, uh, the way he carried them that night, 
Clark, I thought was truly incredible. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, wait, we got it. Okay, good. He really didn't need much support at all. But they shouldn't count on that type of performance again tonight. But his teammates need to be... Oh, what the freak. Piece of jerk. Crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're up by three. 133 left now here on the second. Asked to Curry against Chalmers. And there's the call. No! Following the goaltending call. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after. Oh, man. The Heat shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. Curry kicks to Thompson. Up and in. Awesome. Okay. Thompson's got his second bucket of the night. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and it's paid dividends. Yeah, it sure has, Clark. I mean, with as many points as they've gotten in the paint, they really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. Now, here's Chalmers looking for his first basket still in this one. Trying to find Haslam and gets it to him. Yes. The Warriors lead it. Curry attacking. And there's the pass to Money. Iguodala outside. Feeds it to Thompson. Passes it to Money. Five Dang it! Block. Thompson against Chalmers. Money. Ah! Top D on the inside. Put up a roadblock, a construction barrel right there. That's what he brings defensively. And here is LeBron. Seven points in the game. Goes up off the pitch. And that uh. one of the oldest plays in basketball made that dunk possible. That's right. A terrific screen right there, Steve. Allowed him to lose his man and rock it to the rim. Wow, don't you love to see players working together in that, that fundamental. Nice, nice last minute shot. We needed that. Uh. The Warriors on top, leading. And now, brought to you by Sprint. An entire season has come down to this. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to our All right, come on. NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. We've seen money really having a great game. Everything's magnified in a game like this. And with the uh, square uh, uh, guy, he came through in a huge way in the first half. Steve, that's what he's known for. I mean, his ability to no. manage his game according to the situation makes him elite level. Kicking off the second half, here's Mark Jackson's five. Steph, Clay, and Dre on the perimeter. Money out there with David Lee. Shots good for money. You gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grinded out physical game. Yeah, that was your game, Clark. Pound it inside and <laughs> take the ball right to the defense. <laughs> That's what I tried to do, man. I knew my limitations. The drive by James. That is good. Dang it, man. LeBron's got the game tied up here for the Heat. They are owning the lane right now. Every one of their last 10 points has come either at or near the rim. Great looks in tight because they're finding lanes to the hoop whenever they want them. Here's Iguodala. Another three. For wow, he knocks them down like freaking cheesecakes, man. Holy freaking crap. Phillips kicks to Bosch. The feed to Allen. Pass to James. Ah! Uh, oh, he missed this time. And his, and his face was on the ground. That's awesome. Curry with it. Phillips picks him up defensively. Let's it fly from 18. And again, another basket there for Money. Money's got four points in the quarter. Easy little jump shot for him right there, guys. Oh, and there's the... No! Ah! Uh. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. No doubt, Clark. Their teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. And what a play to make in a close game. A, a potential momentum builder. Here's Iguodala outside for Curry. And Chauncey Billups gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. First team. Foul. 
to the paint. Here's Money. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Money's got the lead up to five now for the Warriors. LeBron outside. Outside, Phillips. Inside to Bosch. On the wing, Battier. Rocket six. The three-pointer off the mark. No! Ah. Two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Six points for Chris Bosch. To the inside. Here's Money. He's guarded by Battier. Kicks it out to Iguodala. Oh, nice. That's good. Broke right away from LeBron. Awesome. That's kind of his strong suit. The ability to find his way through the defense and finish at the rim. Phillips against Curry. Iguodala with the block. And they get it back. Count it and the Warriors. Chris Bosch keeps getting offensive rebounds. Strong rebounding and he's rewarded with the easy putback. Curry attacking. No! And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. Bosch kicks to James. Oh, go, 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 go. Freaking chase that ball. Get it. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Well, you look at money. Leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. And, of course, LeBron James. I'll tell you what, whether it's been attacking off the dribble or pulling up, both of these guys have really been lighting it up in the playoffs. The drive by Iguodala. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Come in, Dre. Let's make these. Perimeter defender. Ah. What I love about him is he can guard any of the perimeter positions. One, two, three. Doesn't matter. No, he missed so both. No. Great anticipation. And a really good help defender as well. Yeah, he's outstanding. Even if he's not at the point of attack, he's always lurking in the passing lanes. His defensive awareness enhances his great physical gifts at that end of the floor. Vernado dishes to James, and he gets it to go. Uh. It's now only a one-point Warrior lead. Boy, he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. Nedovic, the pass to Money. No, man. Ah! LeBron, left side. And he's going up for the alley oop. A surreal. Oh, uh, man. Pass Clark, the catch, the dunk, all of it perfect. Precision at its finest. Yeah, and it all had to be perfect and in precision. That's not nearly as easy as they made it look. Oh, uh, good. Freaking a three knockdown. Good. He there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. James sets the screen for Chalmers. Inside, here's Varnado. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Warriors. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And another area. Nice, he missed both. Great job tonight is forcing the issue defensively and, and getting some steals. Catching up on the changes for Golden State. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Iguodala. And Steph Curry subbed in for Nedvich. The shot's good. He is feeling it. A terrific percentage from the field. And Miami has possession. Four point game. And Chalmers kicks to Allen. You jerk off. Yes, sir, that one drops. Allen's got four this quarter. And there it is again. That's where their points have been coming today from the low post. And even under pressure in tight, they've maintained their concentration and converted their opportunities. Here's Miles. No. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yes. On the layup. And the Warriors lead by four. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And um, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Here's Renato. There's the dish to James. With one on the clock. And no oh, he missed. Good. One. And offensively, a great show for the... All right, last quarter. 
I'll be doing an NBA 2K14. So let's do it. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. This was a showstopper, wasn't it? Just a difficult pass to make. And it makes it flawlessly to set up that alley-oop. We've got Odin. Chauncey Billups out there with Chalmers. And there's Haslam. And it's Battier in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Come on, Greg. You got to miss these. No, don't make them. What are you doing? Oh, uh, he made both. Now, here's Curry. Pass to Money. Back to Curry from outside the arm. Come on, make it. Ugh. No. Phillips with the ball. Picked up by Johnson. Shoots it. Phillips. Ah! Phillips has got it all tied up now for the Heat. Unstoppable offense from both teams. I love the pace this game has been played at. So does everybody else in the building. This has been a fun one. Curry dishes the lead. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Back to Curry. He feeds it to Lee. Outside Curry. Five on the clock. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way. Come on, Steph. Let's make both of these. No! And he's good on the second. Don't be disappointed not to have converted all of them, but he did get the big one to give them the lead. Out to the right wing. Phillips attacking. He kicks it to Haslam. Ugh. Still missed. Boy, they were ready for him right there. I mean, totally collapsed the defense on him. Thompson passes to Money. And there's the call on Udonis Haslam. That's his first foul. They tried to step in and cut him off, but just not quick enough. And we have the benefit of replay, but I think they got that one right, which is the case most times, even though fans don't think so. But well, he's making a switch here. James has checked in. Money passes to Lee. Hurry against Betty. Here's Money. Knocks it loose. What the f Kidding me! Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Dishes at the box. Out to Battier. Yes! Good. Here's Thompson. Clay. You miss! No! Usually if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Kicks it to Battier. Oh my god! Phillips has got four assist now tonight. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. Well, and at this stage of such a tight game, I think this is when tired legs start to show. And the defense can become vulnerable in the low block. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Yes, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Mark Jackson was going over with his team. There we go. Good. Players. Guys, this is when it's fun, right? Time is winding down. A close game. This is where you show the preparation and the time you put No, no, no. Don't let LeBron. Ugh. This game winds down. And that replay is sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us. No! What a horrible freaking pass, man! LeBron gets to Allen. Inside to Bosch. That's good. Oh my god. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Heat. Their high energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. The other thing they're doing, guys, is forcing turnovers and then creating points offensively as a result. The jump hook, and again, another one in for Money. Money's got 24 points. Well done, finishing that one off. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. 
over that last break, Come on, get that. Yes! Come on, Dre. Come on, make it. Yes! Some late game adjustments that could prove crucial in the game's closing moments. Kevin, over to you. Great, thanks for the report, Doris. Nice shot by uh. LeBron's got 10 points here in the second half. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Yeah, you look at the numbers 10 of the last 12 points that come from close range, so I agree. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. Miami trailer. Come on, we just need one freaking stop. Come on. Oh, he missed. Yes. Oh, God. Yes, he made it. All right, we need to keep playing D. 22 left in the game. From D. James. Lee yes! Lee's got six rebounds in the game. Curry attacking. Here's money. Ah. Okay. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Wow, such a steady hand. He's the one responsible for getting them this late lead. Can't argue with that at all, Steve. His shooting percentage has been off the charts. Knocked away. Oh! Yeah. The Warriors on the break. Iguodala outside. There's the pass to Money. Thompson outside. Mayo, come on. What's freak up with this passing, dude? Thompson left side. Five to shoot. Come on, Clay. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws. Now right, make him. these. He doesn't. Uh, the one at least make this one. Got one more, though. And the there we go. Is good. That makes it a seven-point lead. Checking out the game Clay Thompson is having. He has eight points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. Going forward, I think it'd be a good idea to let him spend a little more time behind the arc. Don't let LeBron wide open like that. Oh, he missed! What the, what the frick was that? He draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And he misses the Oh, yes, they're missing. Can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. Golden State's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Here's money. The fader. And he gets it to go. Yes. We won! We freaking won! Yes! Oh, what a freaking series, man! Holy crap! Oh boy! And quite a contrast indeed of emotions. Well, as much as you'd like to clinch it in front of your home fans, guys, there, there's something really special uh, about doing it on the road and just seeing the, the shocked faces uh, of the home crowd and, and the silence that envelops the arena. It, it is quite an accomplishment to do so in the face of such adversity. And now, Ooh. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver will be presenting the Larry O'Brien Trophy announcing the NBA Finals MVP award winner. Thank you to these two great teams who gave us an exhilarating seven-game final series. Thank you for the dedication, the passion, the intensity, and the teamwork. Tonight, there is one team which has realized its goal to become NBA champions. So congratulations to the fans, the coaching staff, right. and a wonderfully talented team. Does that guy have no pants? NBA champions, the Golden State Warriors. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the uninhibited joy, I mean, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, these home fans, a celebration they can only witness 
in frustration and disappointment. Steve, it is some kind of feeling, certainly. Yeah, it is. For, for these fans, I mean, to come so close, you know, almost getting there with their team, now all of a sudden to have to watch the opponent celebrate on their floor, a bitter pill to swallow for sure. And now we turn our attention courtside to the presentation of the Bill Russell NBA Finals MVP Award and the Larry O'Brien Trophy with NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. A tremendously talented player and deserving the award named for Bill Russell, the ultimate champion. Nice. Congratulations to the winner of the Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Mark, I can speak for myself, but hasn't this been a tremendous playoffs? It really has been, Kevin. I mean, you never know when you start the postseason what you're in store for, how things will turn up. But we now all know what the end result was. Steve, I know you've enjoyed every second of this series. Yeah, it's been phenomenal to watch, Kevin. And, and what impresses me the most is, you know, the NBA playoffs are such a grind. Uh, to win it all, to go through so much adversity, the roller coaster ride of emotions. And now all of a sudden, this team uh, can just relax and let out everything and enjoy the night. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. For Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. Whew. All right, good. Now, whoo, we just we had to fight through it. And we did it. We freaking won the NBA Finals, and I won the MVP. Amazing comeback. You guys were down, but fought back and managed to win the series anyway. What is your reaction to winning the championship the hard way? Oh, man, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I, I think it says a lot about this team and, and how much heart we've got, man. We didn't give up even when it looked like we were out of it. And now here we are, celebrating a title. Really proud of the guys for the way they carried themselves throughout the series, man. We all made sure that not a single one of us got down about the situation. And this is a testament to never quit, no matter how things might look. You got that, kids? Whew. Now, good way to end NBA 2K14 right here. Oh, I probably should check this stuff out real quick. Yo, dog. Been looking for you. I got something to say. Jackson Ellis. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you up here ever. To what do I owe the absolute pleasure? Come on, man. You didn't think I'd let you win Rookie of the Year without having something to say about it, did you? Huh? Okay, so you beat me. But I just want to let you know, next year I'm going to come back even stronger. Can't let you have a leg up on me for long. Bring it. You know I love the competition. Come on, man. You came all the way up here just to tell me all that? <laughs> nah, man. Came over here on this here rooftop to prove once and for all who the better player is. <laughs> Yo, how you propose we do that, huh? Simple. Me and you, one-on-one -on -one to 20. Oh, and uh, since we've been doing this all year long already, you know what I'm saying? Figured we put a little something extra on it. Loser pays the winner their first month's paycheck. <laughs> oh, it's on, Jack. Yo, I've been waiting for an opportunity like this all year long, homie. Let's ball. Cool. All right, well, since this is the last part, let's do it. Let's beat our rival. This is the last part, so we'll just do this. Alright, let's do this. I really hope in NBA 2K15 I can continue right. using this guy. Ah. 
Ah. Come on, man. Such bull crap. Oh, come on, dude! Quit jumping! I hate that crap so much! Dude, I press triangle and he jumps twice and I can't get it? Come on! It's freaking dumb. Oh, come on. I can't even get the freaking ball. This is stupid. Oh, come on, man. This is so dumb. Oh, my God. Alright, finally, I got the freaking ball. Oh, no! What? Come on, get it! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is stupid. Man, this is so dumb. This is freaking really stupid. This is so freaking stupid. Dude. What is this? Really, what is this? Oh, come on. This is so stupid. This is so freaking dumb. I can't even get the ball. Great. Yeah, don't give me the freaking ball, you stupid game. Come on. This is so dumb! Oh, bull crap! I hate this stupid crap! I can't even get the ball! Oh, come on! What is this? Great. Just freaking great. This is... Now I'm gonna get shut out. Because I can't get the freaking ball. And I didn't realize I forgot I had to go back to the three-point line. Oh, come on! I'm the freaking better player. This is just stupid bullcrap. Thank God.
Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Now he's gonna freaking win. This is such stupid bull crap. Are you serious? Oh my god, this is so freaking stupid! No! Come on, dude! It's, why does this guy game make me jump twice? Come on! And why do they give the ball back to him? Oh my god, this is so irritating. Dude, my guy keeps dropping the ball. No, come on. Oh my god. Great, I lost because of stupid crap. I couldn't get the ball at all. I only got it three times. Dude, this is such nonsense. I won the freaking MVP and I can't freaking win this one on one because of stupid. The freaking gay controls won't let me get any freaking rebounds. Ah, uh, great. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. Freaking dumb! Freaking stupid. What a dumb freaking thing. Of course the AI gets the advantage in that because the freaking controls for them is much better. It's freaking... uh, how you like them apples, dog? On your home court, too? That's how the real rookie of the year takes care of business. Yo, you played a good game. No, yeah, it's because it's stupid AI nonsense. Mind, though, bro. This game don't change nothing. Yo, don't trip, man. Not too many other players in the league could play me that well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. That means a lot. No doubt, player. Yo, don't forget to write that check out to Jackson Ellis now. That's E-L-L-I-S. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rookie of the year right here, baby. Whatever. 
yeah, I shouldn't have lost, but the game would not give me the freaking ball. Go screw yourself, stupid. Bull crap. Freaking bull crap. Why does my guy jump twice for? Why? It's been doing that the whole season. I don't understand it. Freaking stupid. Thanks for stopping by. As you know, it's important for me to regularly check. That's why I can barely freaking play defense is because the freaking controlling of my guy sucks. Besides offense, it's stupid. All right, everything's great, man. Getting to know the city a little bit. Coach is great. Players are great. It's all good. Fantastic. Now we just got to keep winning games, right? That's right. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you a question, man? Absolutely. Fire away. It's kind of personal, but... That's all right. I just feel like late. My God, I, I hate yelling into the mic, but life. that was so freaking irritating. Like you're in a video game. Ugh. Yeah, it's surreal. The NBA can be that way with the lights. Oh the my God. The photographers. We're on the last part too. You know, why? You know, why do they do this? I wanted to freaking leave the game in a good mood, but I'm in a freaking bad mood because of the stupid freaking controlling of the player. All right, have a good workout. I'm glad you feel that way too. All right, yeah, absolutely. He does crap I don't want him to freaking do. I really hope NBA 2K15 is much better in that freaking aspect. That is complete freaking nonsense. I'm just curious. I want to see the trophies. Was there a freaking trophy for beating him at the end there? Being a little trophy whore there, but i just curious. Was that a key uh, thing to do? Be him. All my team stuff, my GM. All my GM stuff. Never was able to do that. Didn't even realize these type of things were in here. Fawns in there. Playing sick. Freaking, I, I I, screwed up. I did get uh, hated on by Shaq, but I couldn't do what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to get five blocks. I got, like, three. Well, it does it with NBA 2K14. You get a little bit of uh, happiness, but you get a little bit of rage at the same time. So, all right, that ends it.